Okay, so for the elbow, we're going to do four views, AP, external rotation, internal rotation, and the lateral view. We're going to put a lap shield on our patient again. What I'm going to have you do is bring your arm out, palm up, and set that right down in the middle of your cassette. Again, no detent, so I'm going to click my tabletop icon, and I'm going to lower my SID down to 40 inches. The table's going to move a little bit. I'm going to actually have to bring my whole patient forward for this one. Okay. I'm going to center right over the elbow joint. And I want to ensure that I get about half of the forearm and half the humerus on my image. My marker is going to go on the lateral side. And again, I want to make sure that my patient is in a true AP position. I'll have them hold nice and still just like that. And then after that one, I'm going to do the external rotation. So what I'm gonna have you do is roll out so that your thumb's touching the table, good. I'm gonna to move to recenter over the mid elbow. Have my patient hold nice and still just like that. And take the image. Now what I'm gonna have you do is roll your arm in so that your thumb or your hand is down. They're gonna be a 45 degree internal rotation for this one. Have them hold nice and still and take that image. For the last one, we're gonna do the lateral. So I'm gonna have you bend your elbow. You need to make sure that we're at a 90 degree rotation here, bend in the elbow. The wrist needs to be lateral as well. And we need to ensure that the shoulder and the elbow are on the same plane for a true lateral. So I'm gonna raise the table up just a little bit. We wanna center one inch in from the olecranon process. I'm gonna move that just a little bit. So I should have a central gray line coming down into the forearm and up into the humerus there. So shoulder and elbow are on the same plane, my wrist is lateral, and she's got a true 90 degree bend in her elbow. So I'd have her hold nice and still.